Brother Mike, man of God, on fire for Christ. Hey, I'm just leaving y'all another video. Uh, leave y'all this quick video. It's, this video is for Muslims. You know, all my Muslim brothers, I love y'all. All my Muslim sisters, I love y'all. The rapture is about to come. And you have to make a choice. You know, Muslims, inshallah, y'all hope that y'all can get to heaven. Inshallah, if I do enough, you know, all Muslims believe that if you do enough, that do enough good, if your good outweigh your bad, that you can get to heaven. That's what Muslims believe. You know, if my if my good outweigh my bad, then, you know, inshallah, Allah allows me position to get in heaven. But the Bible is the oldest book in the world. It's the book that's inspired by God. It's a book that's older than any book that you that you know. We know scientifically that the Bible is true because every time that they dig, they the more and more they dig, the more and more they find evidence that the Bible is what the Bible says it is. It's an inspired book by God. Now people say, well man made the Bible, but guess what? Who else was going who else was going to write the Bible? Should angels came down here and wrote the Bible? No, man, may God, God uses man to do many things. We're made in the image of God. So why just because God chose man to write the Bible, it's not inspired by God? Did not, did not God choose man to deliver his people from Egypt? Could not God have sent angels to do that? Yes, he could have. But God always uses man to do his will on earth because this is our home angels homes is in heaven this is our own our, our home on earth so why would god use angels to write a book for us wouldn't it be right for him to use man to write the book for us you know so i want to stop people from saying that man wrote the bible so it can be corrupt no these men that wrote the bible died for what they believed in they died horrible deaths hung you know heads chopped off hung upside down stoned these the, the, those are the men that wrote the bible you know so wouldn't you rather take they were for them? why would they all die these horrific deaths if the bible if if it was if they wasn't inspired by jesus christ if they didn't see jesus christ die and resurrected and walk just like i'm talking to you jesus appeared to them just like i'm talking to you they believed it and they died for it okay so that the bible is the truth it's the truth of god okay so you know i just wanted to put that to rest you know what i'm saying because a lot of people say well the bible is is written by man yes he did write that man chose man wrote it god wrote the ten commandments you know and gave it to a man but yet the bible nobody chose to believe in the ten commandments too because none of us is holding up to the ten commandments None of us is holding up to the Ten Commandments. We've all fall short of the glory of God. All of us have. You know, I'm sitting here making this video. I've sinned before. I've sinned before. You've sinned before, okay? So, yes, God did do that for us. He gave us inspired word from his, from his faithful and loyal subjects, you know, to, to give us the word of God. Amen? So, for my Muslim brothers... Y'all believe that it's Allah that y'all can go to heaven. You know, y'all pray and hope that y'all can do enough good to go to heaven. But what good do you know? So a lot of y'all die and you don't know if you're going to go to heaven or not. Every Muslim in the world, you die and they don't know where they're going. They don't know where they're going. I don't care what Muslim they are. When you die and you take your last breath, you don't know where you're going. Now, shouldn't that be something wrong with that? Life doesn't have any meaning. You know, you people pray five, six times, seven times a day, and that is a blessing because, you know, y'all dedication is wonderful. But the point is, there is no good. No, not one, the Bible tells us. No, not one is good. So that means that all Muslims, if you think you're doing good enough to go to heaven, there is no good Muslim. There is no good Christian. There is no good nobody. Nobody is good enough to get to heaven. Why do you think that Jesus Christ came down here and died? And now you guys believe that Jesus Christ didn't die, but that another man came down and took his place. What kind of stuff is that? You guys really believe that? That some man came down and took the place of Jesus Christ? 
Even Muslims believe that Jesus Christ was the word of God. So if Jesus Christ was the word of God, Jesus said, I am the only way, the truth, and the life. No man comes into the Father but through me. He's, he specifically said that. And how you knew that he is God. Jesus was God walking among us is because he said, before Abraham, I am. Now, what did God say to Moses when Moses said, who shall I say sent me? God said, tell him I am sent you. Who, hallelujah, I just had the Holy Ghost run through me. I just had the chills, you know, confirmation of what I'm saying is from the Holy Spirit. God told Moses, I am sent you. Tell him I am sent you. And what did Jesus Christ say? To those who said to, to the Pharisees when they said, Who are you? Are you the Christ? He said, Before Abraham, I am. And they all start tearing their stuff and start talking about blasphemy. Even though when they seen this man feed hundreds of thousands with bread, with bread and a little fish, even though they, they seen this man bring people back from the dead, even though that they seen this man heal blind people, even though that they seen this man, um, go from town to town healing he did nothing but the work of his father people still doubted him who he was he walked on water he did everything that a regular man couldn't do jesus christ did it but yet and still the pharisees still didn't believe who he was even though the bible talked about jesus christ talked about the savior of the world who takes the sin away from the world okay jesus is the only way to heaven now see, God is a loving God. Now see, God is pointing the finger at you because you're a sinner. God is saying, no, you cannot come into heaven because Adam and Eve sinned. In Genesis, Adam and Eve went against the will of God and he sinned. And so God looks at all of us and pointing the finger at all of us and said, you know what? You're a sinner. No sin is in heaven because God is nothing but truth and love. So God is pointing the finger calling you a sinner. Okay? Now, if you're a Muslim... Do you think God is going to stop pointing his finger because you walked a lady across the street or because you gave somebody, you gave somebody, a, 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 you know, some money to help them eat or something? You think God is going to take down his finger from you and say you're not a sinner no more because you think you've done enough good? You, you, you tried to be a good person? No, God is still pointing his finger at you. He's still calling you a sinner. Okay? God is still pointing his finger at you calling you a sinner. And I don't care how many times you done did something for somebody. God is still pointing his finger. So what did God do? Mankind is lost. Mankind is lost. So God said, okay, before the foundation of the world, he chose his only begotten son, Jesus Christ, to come down in earth as a man. To live as a perfect man with no sin. Jesus often said to the Pharisees when they, when they said, did he sin? Jesus said, hey, did you see me sin? Did you? Did you? Did you? None of them can say he sinned. The only sin they can say he did was blasphemy because they didn't believe that he was the, the, the son of the living God. They charged him with blasphemy and they charged him with healing on the Sabbath day. Those were the only charges brought against Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, because he was a man that never sinned. A man that walked this earth for 25 years, the only thing that they can say he did was blasphemy. And Jesus pointed at all of them, which, which of you have seen me sin? Can you say that? Can you say you walked around for 25 years and didn't sin? I can't. So, with that being said, God is pointing his finger at you and calling you a sinner. So what Jesus did when he died for us, he stood in front of that finger. He got in front of that finger for you and said, no, Lord, that person chose me. And so Jesus is standing before you proud and saying, Lord, he accepted me. So God is going to take his finger down from you and and guess what? God is not going to charge you no more because guess what? Jesus never sinned. So God is going to put his finger down. He's not going to point at you no more and call you a sinner because you've accepted Jesus Christ. So now when God is looking at you for a sinner, when you accept Jesus Christ, he's looking at his son. So he takes his finger down and allows you to pass into heaven. That is the only way you can go to heaven. It's through Jesus Christ. And here it is. All of you Muslim think that you can get in there by doing good deeds. 
There's a lot of Muslims in hell right now because they believe in what the devil is telling them that you can do good enough yourself to get in heaven. No man can do good enough to get in heaven. No woman can do good enough to get in heaven. We need our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, to get us in heaven. Okay, now look, some of you Muslims might leave me bad feedback and I, I, I honor that because you know what? I'm trying to save your souls because guess what? When you die, judgment is set. When you die, you're going to one or two places, heaven or hell, and I'm just trying to save y'all. I'm just trying to say that I love y'all. My sister was a Muslim. I myself practiced Muslims when she converted to Muslim and I, I you know, I had to believe I had to believe in God. So I know what you guys are going through. I know what you guys are going through. You know what I'm saying? I understand that. I understand that everything you've been believing with is not true. And it's hard to believe in that. But guess what? Jesus is the truth, the way, and the life. No man comes into the Father but through the Son. Don't gamble with your eternal future. Don't take my word for it. If you don't believe Jesus is real, come to him. I dare any Muslims to pray to Jesus Christ and let me know. Say, Lord Jesus, if you're the real God, I don't want to go to hell. If you're real, if you're the real God, show me you're the real God. And God will show you that he's the real Jesus Christ. Thousands upon thousands of Muslims are being saved because they're finding the truth. Jesus said he's the truth, the way and the life. And I want y'all to get saved. If you're watching this video, this video is inspired by this sister that's been calling me. Um, her husband was giving her, you know, um, She's a Christian, but her husband is Muslim, and she wanted me to pray for her. You know who you are. I love you. And I hope this video helps people all around that's Muslims or in other religions. Turn to Jesus now because he's about to come back. You don't want to be left behind because you chose not to accept the true Lord, our true Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Okay? There's many gods going around here. Hindus believe in different gods. Uh, Muslims believe in Allah. All of these people believe, but they're, you're gonna, when, when you take your last breath, you're going to stand in front of the only living God. Now, see, no Muslim has seen Allah. No Muslims can say that they've seen Allah. None of them. Christians, we're the only one can say that, that we've seen our Lord. Our Lord loved us so much that he came down here to earth. And Muslims believe that God would not manifest itself, that he's too holy to manifest itself as a human. He's too holy to have a son. But we're talking about a loving God, a loving God. If God didn't love us, he wouldn't have, he would, he wouldn't have did what he did. But we know God is love. So God sent us his only begotten son. Now, see, in the beginning in Genesis, he said, let us make man in our image. Well, who was God talking about? If it's Allah, then why did Allah say, let us make man in our image? If it's Allah, if it's only one God and one God only and Muhammad is his prophet, why did the only God say, let us make man in our image? Truly, the Bible is true because Muslims believe that the Bible is true. The Quran is focused off of the Bible. Read Genesis. God said, let us make man in our image. He was talking to his son. Let us make man in our image. What do us mean? He didn't say let me make man in my image. He said let us make man in our image. Our, us, means more than one. Please hear my voice that I'm trying to tell you. God loves you and time is running out. If you don't want to believe me, read Genesis. Then there's a lot of people that didn't believe in the Bible and they finding out at the last minute that the Bible is true. They keep digging and digging and all they're finding is true evidence that, that supports the Bible. Don't be left behind. Don't go to hell because you believe in, in Allah and Allah is not Jesus Christ. God loves you and many Muslims hate Christians. God is not hate. Our God is love. God has no racial boundary. God is a multicolored God. He made multi people. He loves us all. Do not get left behind because of a uh, uh, because the devil wants you to believe in something that's about hate. And a lot of Muslims hate Christians. I love y'all. This message is for y'all. Time is running out. I love you. Please leave a request. If you have any questions at all, my number is 708. 
359-7150. If you have any comments, I answer all my comments. Leave a comment. If you have a question, leave a question. I love y'all so much. Don't get left behind. I know you have to disregard everything you've ever believed in, but it's worth